Okay, so lead code practice time again. So read n characters given read for two, count multiple time. So there is another question which is 157 called read n characters given read. And that one is a easier one comparing to this question. So um, again, two goals. The first one is to see how to solve this problem and put in some code there. And the second one is to see how to solve this problem properly in the interview. So remember the first step is always to try to clearly understand the problem, what the question is asking us to do. If there is anything unclear, please bring up the question to the interviewer to clarify. And also think about some edge cases you may think you may need to deal with um, in the next step, uh, which you may need to pay special attention to. So let's read through this problem. So given the file and assume that you can only read the file using a given method read for, implement the method read to read n characters. And your method read may be called multiple times. So method read for, the API read for reads four consecutive characters from the file, then writes those characters into the buffer array, about four. So the return value is a number uh, is a number of actual characters read. All right. So note that read four has its own file pointer, much like this one, and the definition of the read four is something like this. All right. So first time we call read four, it reads four characters. Then the the, the second time we call read four, we just read one character, and it's going to return one. So similarly uh, as the other question, okay, so method read. By using the method for implement the method read that reads n characters from the file and store it in the uh, buffer array above, consider that you cannot manipulate the file directly. So the return value is the number of actual characters read. All right, so, Okay, so I think I pretty much get this question. And the note, let's read some notes. So consider you cannot manipulate the file directly. Uh, of course, uh, just use the read for API. And the read function may be called multiple times. Um, sure. And please remember the reset, your clause variable declaration solution. Okay, you may assume the destination buffer array above is guaranteed to have enough space, okay? It's guaranteed that uh, in a given test case, the same buffer buff is called by read. What's that? It's guaranteed that in a given test case, the same buffer buff is called by read. Oh, okay. Okay, so I think um, I pretty much understand it. Uh, there there are quite some edge cases to consider like for example if there are less uh, characters than the character we read something like that so i would say if this question is asked it's more about testing your uh, coding ability instead of your uh, problem solving ability so uh, finding solution so i think we yeah, we, we don't really have like a, a solution we can call it here because it's more about like doing some coding work. So let's directly jump into the coding part here. So for the coding part, uh, we care about the correctness of the code and also the readability of the code and of course your speed. So if you if this question is bring um, brought in the in the uh, coding interview, so it's mostly about testing your coding ability, but you can briefly mention the the solution uh, part. You you can say that you will have a uh, a buffer uh, that will contain uh, four characters. Uh, so if next time there is still some characters left in the buffer, you first read from the buffer and then um, then call the read for API. So something like that. Um, but other than that, I think we should be good to start with the coding. Um, so uh, I actually implemented a version which the code is quite complex 
and then I read through the website searching for like a more concise way to write this piece of code and find a pretty good one. So let, let, I, will, I will explain it using the more concise one, which is more helpful for your interview preparation, I would say. So um, first of all, uh, we define the buffer, which is we call the buff four, new car four. And then uh, the solution, we define two things. One is the read position which is initialized to zero, and another one is the right position, which is uh, initialized to zero as well. So the read position, the right position are both for the buff, uh, are both uh, applied on the buff. So um, I'll, I, I'll explain uh, in the coding part for when I implement this read function. So, we are going to have a for outer for loop um, from i to from zero to n i from zero to n. So the first step is to see if the read position and the write position point to the same place. So remember the read position and write position are all uh, based on the buff, are all targeted to the buff four. So if read position is equal to the right position, that pretty much means we have already consumed all the characters in the buff four, and it's time for us to read new characters into buff four uh, by calling the read for API. So read pos is going to be uh, read for uh, what is that buff four. So in this way, we know how many characters uh, have been written to buff four and uh, ready to read. So first of all, we will have the read pose initialized to zero because we need to restart to read uh, the buff four. And we, uh, we would say if, the, if we read zero characters from the buff four, it is time to say that we have already consumed all the characters from the file. So now it's time for us to just return i. And otherwise, if read position is not right equal to the right position, then it means uh, we need to consume the characters within the buff four. So now we should have buff i is equal to buff four which is uh, read pause plus plus. And then finally, uh, out of this while loop, we just return n. So that's it for uh, this uh, approach, uh, which is, which the code is very concise. Yeah, so yeah, that's it for this one. And uh, regarding the testing, so I would say definitely set up some test cases uh, to cover different branches. So for example, set up some task case um, that um, doesn't have enough characters for you to read. I mean, like uh, you have the file have, for example, it has five characters, but you want to read seven and uh, to set up some test cases where you have enough characters. For example, you have the file containing five characters and you want to read five. So something like that to make sure that uh, you can test uh, each branches um, completely. So that's it for this coding question. So if you have any question about this coding puzzle, please uh, leave some comments. And uh, if you find this video a bit helpful in your preparation, please give me a thumb up and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.